I Stamper, today I'm going to show you how to do this card here, the little hull with its little witch at. And this is the same punch, the uh, owl punch that you can make the ghost. So I'm going to show you how to uh, make those little ghosts too. This is round two I started and then we uh, came to a little problem. The memory card was full so I'm going to show you what I did so far. I This is the the layer in the bottom. So for the layer you're going to decrease by one eighth of an inch. So this is five and a half by uh, I mean five and a half by four and a quarter so this is going to be four and one eighth by five and th uh, three eighth. The next one your black is going to be five and a quarter by four. You just decrease your size by one eighth of an inch. So to save paper, I use my big uh, two and a half circle punch. I punch my circle here, and then I add pre-stamp on it the tiny, uh, teeny tiny wishes, teeny tiny wishes, and then I punch it out with my window punch. So now that I got that, I took it apart because I didn't want to start all over. But then I wanted to show you guys step by step. So this won't matter even if you see this there because we put another layers there so it's called safe paper or go green. The circle that I punched here became the moon there. And I sponge some more mustard on top of it to give it a little bit more color. And then I put my greeting, I put it on razzle, uh, rich razzle berry and I punch it out with the modern punch. Now this is pretty much the basic of the card. I'm going to put it all together and I will show you how to do the little howl with the hat. So, I'm going to use the bird punch. What I'm using out of the bird punch, I need uh, the branch here. And I'm using the Pierce Pizzazz, the new in color. That's what I'm using in the green this time. And then I need the bird wing in the black. Whoops. I need this. And then I need the small oval in the black. Punch this. And then I need about, oh, not quite even half, but a piece of the Rich Razzle Berry with the one inch circle punch. So then that's what you need here for your hat. It's the small oval, the wing of the bird punch, and about half the circle of one inch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this here, about like this. Turn it around and trim this. I tried to punch it back out of the oval punch and I think it's easier for me to uh, cut it out. Then I'm going to take his little wing here. I think it would look better this way. Yeah, let me punch another one. There we go. So I want it facing this way, going that way. So I need to put the glue on this side. Ta-da! You get the little hat. Is that cute? So now let's do the body of the that uh, owl. What I need, I need is body in black. Whoops. I'm going to punch him out in black here. Okay. And then on my sample here that there was the design series paper, the Wicked Fun, but I'm just going to use the Pure Pizzazz for this one. And I need his big eyes and the dress for this part. So, really, I just need to punch this here. Here we go. You could use tumble glue for that. For uh, oh, I missed the hull there. How did I manage that? Let me try this again. 
just not going good today. That looked good. Oh, much better. Here we go. Okay, first you're going to put, I call that this little dress here. Just put this right here. Then I'm going to take his eyes. Put it right there. And then those little black thing. Part of his eyes. My daughter's there laughing at me. Here we go. And instead of using the cardstock for the center of his eyes, I like to uh, use the jewels. So I'm going to take this. Put his little eyeball there. Put this there. Is he cute or what? And then, of course, you need this little heart. So in the hull punch, you get the heart there. So I'm going to punch a little rich razzleberry. And put him right there. Ta-da! Then I'm going to take my branch that we already pre-cut. I want it that side. Get the shape today. And then I'm going to use some dimensional to get him up. I'm going to put two little dimensional in the back of him. And then I'm going to do the same thing for his hat. I'm going to take one little dimensional, put in the back of this. And then if you want to do the ghost, super, super simple. Look at that. Is that cute or what? I love him. Okay, for if you want to do the ghost, the only thing you have to do is cut your hull here. And you're going to cut his feet off. Ta-da! And then you can use those two little ones for his eyes. And you can cut this mouth, or you can use from the big shot, the pumpkin face. You can use that for his eyes, but I could put him right there if I want with his eyes. Hope you learned something. Till next time, happy punching!